Hi, this video is here to help you to calculate the volume of a cuboid. Before we get started, let's remind ourselves about volume. Volume is a measure of three-dimensional space and is measured in cubic units, such as cubic millimetres, cubic centimetres, cubic metres or cubic kilometres. A cuboid is a three-dimensional figure with six rectangular faces. One way we can calculate the volume of a cuboid is to count the number of cubic units within the cuboid. If you'd like to find out more about calculating volume by counting cubes, you can check out our video on the Twinkle website. Sometimes cuboids are not presented in a way that shows a cuboid divided into cubic units. If this is a case, we can use a formula to calculate the volume of a cuboid. To calculate the volume of a cuboid, we can use the formula length multiplied by width multiplied by height. It is important that the units of length are all the same before we begin to calculate the volume. For example, if one length was in millimetres and the others were in centimetres, you would need to convert all the lengths to either millimetres or centimetres before you calculate the volume. Here we have a cuboid with dimensions of 6 centimetres, 4 centimetres and 7 centimetres. All of the units of measurement are the same, so we can calculate the volume. Remember, the volume of a cuboid can be calculated by multiplying the length by the width by the height. So for this cuboid, we would need to multiply 6 centimetres by 4 centimetres by 7 centimetres. 6 multiplied by 4 equals 24. 24 multiplied by 7 equals 168. We would say the volume of this cuboid is 168 cubic centimetres. Remember, because multiplication is commutative, it doesn't matter which order you multiply the three measurements together. For example, 7 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 6 still equals 168, even though we have multiplied the three measurements together in a different order. Now it's your turn. I'd like you to calculate the volume of these three cuboids by using the formula length multiplied by width multiplied by height. Don't forget to check that all the units of measurement are the same before you calculate the volume. Pause the screen here and complete the question. Press play again when you're ready to continue. Have you finished? Well done, here are the answers. For this cuboid, all of the side lengths are measured in centimetres, so we can use a formula length multiplied by width multiplied by height. This gives us an answer of 120 cubic centimetres. This cuboid also has all the side lengths in centimetres, so we can use a formula again. 2 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 3 gives us 48 cubic centimetres. This cuboid has one side length in millimetres and the other two in centimetres. We need to convert the side lengths so they're all the same unit of length. We can convert 80 millimetres to centimetres by dividing 80 by 10. 80 millimetres equals 8 centimetres. If you'd like to learn more about converting units of measurement, you can check out our Convert Metric Measures video on the Twinkle website. Now we can use the formula to calculate the volume. 8 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 equals 80 cubic centimetres. Now, I think you're ready for a challenge. Jessica measures the sides of this cuboid in order to find the volume. She says all of the sides are odd numbers and she calculated that the volume of the shape was 38 cubic centimetres. Ruby says that if all of the sides were odd numbers, then Jessica's answer cannot be correct. Do you agree with Ruby? And don't forget to explain your reasoning. Pause here and have a go at the question, and then press play again when you're ready to continue. Have you finished? Well done, here's the answer. Ruby is correct. 
If all of Jessica's measurements were odd numbers, then the answer cannot be an even number. This is because an odd number multiplied by an odd number multiplied by an odd number equals an odd number. For example, 3 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 5 equals 105 cubic centimetres. I hope this helped you understand how to calculate the volume of a cuboid. If you're looking for more maths help, then we've got lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website. So why not go and check them out?